Hey guys, welcome back to my Sims 3 Let's Play. Um, I'm really sorry about the sound issues I had last time. Uh, I really didn't know that my game sound was actually that loud because I don't like because my volume whenever I play isn't actually that loud in real life. I didn't realize how loud it would be whenever it was actually recorded. So I turned all the volume settings down. So hopefully this time you'll be able to hear me. Um, both my Sims are studying. I noticed that if their needs are pretty much full and they like don't have anything to do, they will study uh, instead of fulfilling their needs. So this is pretty boring. Uh, let's go have them socialize. Come Blair, let's talk to this guy. Who is this guy anyway? Tiberius Willard. Oh my god, that's such a name. Uh, Serena can also talk to someone. Um, Tiffany Angles. Oh, we need her to talk to this girl because she is um, rebellious and I want Serena in with the rebels. So, I want Blair to make friends. It's going to be really hard for her to make friends, I think. But only because she's like a mean spirited person. Um, as for Serena, I think it would be easier for Serena to make friends. Uh, that girl's going away. No, come back. Or not. Okay. Um, what can we get Serena to do? Hmm. She can chat with someone online. Because she has nothing better to do at 5am. Blair is still finding it hard to make friends. Um... We know all his traits already. We know everything already. Wow. Is this because we're roommates? I think it's because we're roommates. Um, uh, my friend Nathan commented on the video. He said, the last video, he said that you can like up their relationship by dragging this if you cheat. So I'm going to try that. Nope, didn't work. Okay. Um, I'm going to try that. Doesn't seem to work. Because I have my test and cheats enabled thing on. Um, Tiberius is good. Oh, that friendship's not gonna work out. Did we get fairy powder from that guy the last time? Okay, so we didn't get fairy powder from this guy at the party the last time. I'm really sorry if I'm talking really fast. Um, this is the guy that Blair had a fight with the last time, but I want to get fairy dust from him. So can we do that, Blair? Can we get fairy dust from this fairy? Even though you had a fight with him. Well, I can't see the option to ask him for um, fairy dust, so I guess we can't get fairy dust from him. I'll get Serena to ask him. Serena's first course of the day is starting soon, only four days until exams. Four days? They didn't even start until like classes in six hours. Hmm. Now their needs are starting to go down. Should do something about that before they go to class. So Serena's gonna cook something. I really hope she doesn't burn down the house. Um, the last time I played, uh, Serena was cooking something in the oven and then she had to go to class and so she just left it. And so what happened was horrifying quality. What happened the last time was that she went to school and left the house on fire and then the fire engine came. It was a whole ordeal and they lost their oven. but. The moral of the story is, don't leave something in the oven and then go to class. Blair just had a first encounter with a vampire. A va There's a vampire here? Hold up. Oh, that's the vampire. Who's not liked by Blair. Yeah, beat up Tommy. Sure, why not Blair? You're already mean enough. Implying mother as... was a chupa. Chupa... I don't even know. Let's do that. Can't even read it. Accused of being a vampire. Ooh, you just got bitch slapped. I can tell the player's gonna have a really great time at university when everybody hits her. This is really normal though. I mean, in Gossip Girl, no one liked Blair. She had to, like, get minions and her whole thing. Um, ooh, she's confessing to being a vampire. It's still not going well. trying to fight. Yeah, beat up. Bring it! 
So, you know, first second fight of university. I don't think this is going to be her last. Um, she lost. Did not look good at all. Just fought with a vampire. Lost a fight. Got into a fight. Tammy's mean spirited. <gasps> they could be twins. They're both mean spirited. Oh. Class in two hours and Bet Lair's going to go to sleep. This isn't going to end well. Um. So yeah, the last episode Blair got her photos taken and I put them up on a wall here. Um. She's going to class. She ain't going to sleep. I. So since they're going to class, I'm going to max their motives. If I can. Um. I guess it's kind of cheating, but I don't want them to do terrible in school. I want them to do really hard, because Blair would. Serena wouldn't. I feel like she just sort of cruised by. Um, so they're going off to school, and we are going to fast forward, because this is really boring. So Blair has finished class, but she's another class in two hours. So I think that this would be a good time to quickly try and make friends. What is Serena doing? Mm -hmm. Serena's going back wow. home. She doesn't have class until tomorrow. Um, but she wants to start a protest. It's Serena being a true rebel. I mean, Blair's trying to make friends. Serena wants to dumpster dive and start protests. Serena's having a true college experience. And Blair is trying to smooth it. I appreciate Simsy taking it upon themselves to learn a new craft. Let's get to know each other better. Well, we'll do that after Blair goes back to class. So, I think now we can play as Serena, who's running. Oh, I really need to buy them a car. Where would I find out, find out that Scott McLemore is in the technology major? Who's Scott? Is that the guy she was talking to? Serena, we need to go find a dumpster for you to dive in. Well, let's do that. Do they even have dumpsters on campus? I think they probably do. We'll probably have to visit somewhere for that. I hope one of these places would have a dumpster. I guess we will go over here to the cafe or something. And see if there's a dumpster for Serena to dive into. And look on the bright side. If there's not a dumpster, she can stage a protest. There. Dumpster dive. She looks excited to do this. Here we go. Never ever in my life did I ever picture Serena Vanderwoodson going dumpster diving. Well, there you have it be on the Gossip Girl website in no time. I actually thought about doing a Gossip Girl voiceover to make this more like a Gossip Girl themed thing, but I decided against it. Mostly because I don't think I could do the voice any justice and well yeah. Serena has found a crux of stuff. Cheap drinks, happy hour has begun. Happy hour, okay. Uh, Serena's still diving. Blair's still at school, working hard. Um, Serena's crunchy. Oh my god. Her hygiene is just out the window. Um, well, that was a good memory. Okay, Serena, you can go home now. You did your dare. Um, buy a street art kit. Sure, why not? So, Serena's going to go home to wash after the dumpster dive. On the bright side, she completed her dare. Blair is here. Serena completed her dare. Um, a wish dishwasher was found by Serena when dumpster diving. A perfectly good dishwasher was found whenever she dumpster dived. Why would someone throw that away? And it's not in her inventory? That's weird. So they don't get to keep the stuff they get whenever they go dumpster diving? Wow. So I think we're going to get Serena to see the protest now. Um, we will stage it in the quad. That's always a good place to stage things, right? The quad. From watching enough American movies, I think that's a place, a great place for people to protest about things. Yeah, I think you have to buy a soapbox for it. Um, and of course it takes us back to our house. Oh, I find the dishwasher and stuff. Crocs of stuff. That's weird. University life. Well, it's going to take me forever to see through all these things. Um. Well, Serena wanted an art kit, so we can buy that. And, uh, I think the megaphone. Yeah, I think the megaphone's what we use for protests. So we have those things, and we'll put them in Serena's inventory. 
and then go back to the quad. She's gonna have a little protest. I think it increases your rebel influence if you have a protest. So let's have a protest. Although it looks like you have to stage it at a proper time. But we're having a protest. Uh, what do we want to protest about? And we'll have it at 9 p.m. Because it's 9 p.m. now. Um, astronauts, atoms, beetles, clones, computers. Oh, there are so many things that you can protest about. Unicorn. Why would you want to be done with unicorns? I think that we will protest against llamas. Because they are clever and dangerous beasts. What we can't protest now? Uh, oh, we can protest at 10 p.m. Okay. Let's do it. Protest at 10 p.m. Be there or be square. In the meantime, we're on a grip fighting with this dude who I didn't know uh, we were. Um, let's um, radio campus events because Serena's got to work on that to have her GPA. Um, while Blair is at home. Yeah, family outing. Bring Blair over here and we'll do something with her too. There will be a protest at the university quad in an hour. Remember to hand out flowers to those in attendance. I wonder how the protest will turn out. Hopefully it's good. We gotta take a stand against those llamas once and for all. So I think the protest is about to start. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. Serena just started a protest. Let's do this. Oh, he's joining our protest. Oh. Can we get Blair to join? No, she's just gonna watch Serena. Yeah, join the protest, Blair. Join the protest. And Serena, time to start leading the chat. Blair just attended a protest. Come on, Serena. You started this. Down with llamas! Uh, technically there's nothing wrong with llamas. Personally, I don't have a thing against them. I just think... Well, if you're gonna protest about something, why not it be llamas? Wow, this is a bigger protest than I thought it would be. Look at them. There's about ten of them, I think. All there for Serena. At least it's a successful protest, I mean. And then there's that dude over there with his computer. Totally oblivious. Blair is hungry? Ooh, she is. Okay, Blair can go home now. Um... Telling my sims die. Serena's also hungry. Oh. I wish this was like in Sims 2 how you could just drag their like needs bars up whenever you were cheating. I know I said I try not to cheat, but sometimes you just have to. So the protest is still going on. And um uh, I wonder how long the protest will even last. The protest that Serena Vanda Woods didn't organize is losing momentum. Lies, all lies. Look at all these people, they are still protesting. We need to do this for the greater good of our school. We don't want llamas anymore. Even though llamas is the mascot of our school, we are done with them. See, how can we be losing momentum? It's a really great protest, I feel. I don't even know how long protests last. I've never really done it before. Even though Serena really needs to leave it soon because she needs bed. Oh, protest is over. Celebrating victory! At least it was a good protest. I mean, if you're gonna have a protest, you might as well do it right. Ooh, blues! This person protesting against Sasqu Sasquatch is not- Oh, hell no. Let's go home, Serena. And Blair, stop playing on the computer. You need to eat something. So... I guess it's time for Blair to go to sleep. It's been a long day. Ooh, Serena has an admirer. Mr. Fairy Dude. Well, maybe those two will get together. That'll be her first university boyfriend. That was hardly any sleep at all. Are you serious right now? That was hardly any sleep for any of them, and their class is in six hours. Go back to sleep. In the morning, they both go back to sleep until 2 p.m. Well, they get up for class. Even Blair even puts away her bed. Uh, I guess that has to do with her perfectionist traits. Oh, gosh. Blair just got trapped under her bed. Oh, that's wonderful. 
We're gonna go back to sleep. What a traumatic experience, though. Like, if you had a Murphy bed and you were suddenly crushed by it, like, how creepy would that be? Uh, I would never want a Murphy bed if that happened to me. Murphy bed cleanophobia. Falling Murphy beds will leave a lasting impression on unsuspecting sims. Claire is being extra cautious around teachers' Murphy beds. You got that right. I mean, come on, you were just killed by one practically. I learned if you schmooze a female sim too much that your sim will actually fall in love with them and it'll turn them lesbian. And that wasn't my intention whenever I first played. So, you know, be on the lookout. Too much schmoozing and someone will get the wrong idea. Serena's so still doing stuff at class over here with all this radio broadcasting going around. They're probably all broadcasting the same thing, which makes me question this so much. And over here, Blair's still struggling to make friends. Tria discovered excitable. Let's get Blair to practice some sketching. Um, Blair learned things about Al Sala or whatever her name is. Look at that little drawing. She's drawing a ninja. Didn't look like a good ninja, but she drew a ninja. Oh, she just passed Serena. Where's Serena going? Serena's home. She didn't have class until tomorrow. Okay, so I don't understand why Serena's knees didn't go up when Blair's did. Let me try that again. Oh, their knees will only go up if they're at home? Oh. Okay. Why didn't she get that knee taken away if Claire is starting to feel a bit ill. Oh no, she's gonna get sick. See, it's so much easier for Serena to make friends because she's not mean-spirited and she's not a uh, diva and like all the things that Claire is. Although I guess, like, that's the way it has to be. Serena is now a line crosser within the rebel social group. We'll go for Serena. Friends give her straight out bag and a megaphone. We just, I just bought those. Well. I guess if we get in with this girl, we'll be really good with the rebel group, which is great. Um, I'm beginning to wonder if this girl actually has proper clothes or not. I mean, she's kind of just chilling there in her bathing suit, which is fine, I guess, because, you know, when you're in university, it's cool to be naked. I don't know. Maybe she's a nudist. Grip up with a lasso. Karen. That's such a weird name. What is what is she being? Oh gosh. You just accused her of being a diva, didn't you? Oh no, Serena's not getting along with this girl. Maybe the girl is the problem. Maybe it's not my sins. Maybe it's her. Serena Vanderwoodson is now a non-conformist within the rebel social group. Oh, I've unlocked a new achievement. Um Bright Mr. Brightside or something? The bright side. Have your day brightened by a good sim. Oh, okay. Um. Alright. That's exciting. I really do want to get all the achievements because I'm such a nerd. But anytime I play a game and I find out there's achievements, I try to get as many as possible. Because who doesn't like achievements? So this is a pretty boring episode. Other than the fact that Blair is sick and she's not getting along with anyone. Um, I want something really exciting to happen. I guess not every episode will be as exciting as the first episode. But you want to hope there's going to be something, right? I think we should check out what this Crocs of stuff thing is. Um, I'm going to like put it up here. It's bigger than I thought. Oh, okay. So it's just for decoration. Like three pots with watermelon on them. Okay then, I think that we should get Serena to throw a party. It's so random, but Serena is so good with her parties. Um, house party! I probably won't be as exciting as the first party they went to, but... Part of the college experience is um, going to a party and having a party. Ooh, we should do a caution party. Yeah, and we're gonna invite all these people. So now we're having a party. We're gonna have to buy stuff for the party. Oh, I really hate how this is so tiny. Because you know it's a good party whenever they got lots of random stuff that you can play with. Yeah, I know this university house just got so much better because of me. Now we got this stuff. Hopefully the party gets better. Um, decided to be a social butterfly and find a party. 
I know I'm not really watching out my sims needs. I should really just make them all static. Playing sims whenever you have to take care of your sims needs is so tedious because you can't just like do whatever you want because you have to take care of your needs. Which is what real life is like. But even so, this is a game. And so you shouldn't have to do this stuff. I mean, who plays sims for the realistic experience? Like seriously. Oh, Serena's a cheerleader. Ooh. How fitting. I always thought that if they had cheerleaders in Gossip Girl, that Serena would be one. So it's time for the party. Player, where's your costume? Oh. Whoa. Okay, Blair is wearing a hockey mask. That's not creepy at all. Um, well, all right then. So Blair's a serial killer, which I guess is cool. I mean, you know, if all the Sims that could be serial killers, I would expect Blair to be one, which sounds horrible. Oh my gosh, the fairy guy dressed up as a hot dog. Oh my God, where is he? Oh, dude, you have the best costume. And your wings just look like, oh my god. Why can't you dress like a hot dog every day? Oh my god, someone stole the same outfit as the fairy. That's not cool, dude. Seriously, though. You think the player would change into a full costume? Like, and not just cop out with a mask? That's so not Blair Waldorf of her. You don't live up to the real Blair Waldorf at all. Oh yeah, throw a test tube into the fire. I wonder what it is. Woo! If they add any more wood to that, it's just gonna like set the whole place on fire. The young man had apparently died of fright. <gasps> that must have been Serena's ghost story. Serena, get fairy dust from Derek. Yes, yeah, okay, I've decided that they should become fairies. At least Serena, anyway. Is this even a good party? How do you tell? Like in Sims 2, it used to tell you if you were having a good party or not in the corner. I mean, this, this party seems kind of dull. Uh, with firefighters and detectives and people all around. Did Serena get her fairy dust? Yes. Okay, so... Time to become a fairy, Serena. This is your time. The people are trying to leave the party, so it's perfect. So now she's glowing. Flight of Felicity. Ooh. What else can happen now? I can fly. Ooh. So when does she get her wings? Hey, dude. Don't heckle him. He's your friend. Um. Can you, like, tell you stuff about fairies? I have no idea. Um, more people leave in the party. Which is Liam, because it's only nearly one in the morning. Like, no one leaves a party at nearly one in the morning. So I haven't really worked out the fairy thing. Like, does Serena get wings or does she not? And Blair is staring into the fire. I mean, seriously, like, even now, she totally looks like a serial killer. Now she's going to bed too. I guess it symbolizes the end of the party. Um, well, if this is the end of the party, I think I'm going to end it here again. Um, I know that you can't always rely on parties to make this episode um, to make this exciting. So hopefully, in the next episode, something exciting happens on its own, like um, you know. Serena gets her fairy wings or Blair actually makes a friend um, so Serena had a really good party which is good too now they're going to sleep um, I hope that you like this episode um, hopefully oh she threw a bad party oh okay um, that sucks maybe the next time it'll be a good one uh, anyway Thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully next time something other than a party will happen. I'm really sorry that you know there was another party, but there was nothing else to do. So anyway, like I said, goodbye. Uh, I'm really sorry that I suck at outros, but hopefully I get one eventually. Um, 
and yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.